This is a demonstration on how to use optimization in Python. We're going to have a couple elements to our problem here. First of all, we have an objective. And uh, we have might have other types of constraints that we're subject to, such as this inequality constraint. So we know that the product of those four variables, x1, x2, x3, x4, has to be greater than or equal to 25. The next one is going to be an equality constraint. And here the product um, from i equals 1 to 4 of xi squared has to equal 40. We just write that out um, like this. And then the final thing that we have with this optimization problem is that all of the variables have to be less than or equal to 5 and greater than or equal to 1. So we have some simple bounds on the variables as well. And then we have some initial conditions. These are going to be the initial guess values for our optimization problem, where x1 is going to be 1, x2 is 5, and so on. Okay, so we want to program this in um, to Python and be able to, so let's have this thing over here. Okay, our optimization problem. And then we'll go ahead and program this in uh, using the SciPy uh, optimize minimize package. And the first thing that we'll need is, um, you know, we'll just go ahead and import uh, NumPy and also um, from SciPy optimize, we're going to import the minimize package. And um, okay, so next uh, we're going to define some of our functions. The first one is going to be our objective and we'll make that a function of x and then x will be a vector. Um, in, on the right side there I have x1 through 4, but in Python uh, we start with um, x0. So I'm just going to uh, shift that down by 1. You know, if you need to make it a little bit more understandable for yourself, um, you could do uh, this. Actually, let's do that. It'll be a little bit clearer here. Okay, x3 and x4. Okay, so now I can just do x1 times x4 times, okay, I'll just add these up, and then plus x3. Okay, so we're going to return that from our objective. And then the next thing we need to do is define um, our constraints. And the first one uh, that we're going to do is our inequality constraint. But the way that we define this is we've got to move this um, over to the left uh, side. And so we need to have a function of x is greater than or equal to 0. So we're going to return this value. And then we'll tell it that it's an inequality uh, constraint. So I'm going to move that over to the other side. And I'll define my first constraint. I'll just call that constraint 1. Okay, and in this case, it's going to be um, the, uh, let's see, the product of all the values. Okay, so I'll just do x0, I'll return x0 times x1 times x2 times x3, okay, minus 25. Okay, there's our first constraint. And then our second constraint is going to be similar here, but it's just going to be the uh, summation of all the squares okay, of the variables. So I'm just going to do sum of the squares equals, I'll set that it's equal to 40, and then we'll subtract. Uh, so in this case, we need to, for this next one, let me go ahead and just write that. Right here, what we need for this one then is put everything on one side, set that equal to zero. So what I'll do is I'll just move all of these over to that side and uh, have it equal to zero. So I'll do the sum, okay, and then for i in range four, and then we'll do sum of, this, of squares equals Okay, sum of the squares minus x i squared. Okay, and then we'll return the sum squares. 
Okay, so that's our, our constraint too. So we've got our problem defined, and now what we need to do is, let me just go ahead and um, enter down, start a new cell. We need to give it some initial uh, guesses. Okay, so I'll first of all I'll just say x0 equals numpy zeros uh, 4. Okay, we'll create a vector of uh, four values. The other way um, we can do that, let me do it just a little bit easier with a list here. I'll just say that's one, five, five, one. Okay, so there's our initial guess uh, right there. And uh, let's go ahead and just print our objective um, as a function of x zero. Okay, so our initial guess, we'll go ahead and print this. And our optimizer is gonna try to give us a minimum objective. Um, okay, so here we, with those initial guesses, we have an objective of 16. We're gonna see if we can do better than that uh, with satisfying the different constraints. So we then need to uh, set up some bounds for our variables. Now, the third thing is that, um, you know, x1 through x4, we have, um, you know, x1 is going to be less than or equal to 5 and greater than or equal to 1. We'll copy that uh, constraint for all of these. So my bound is going to be uh, between 1 and 5. Okay, and then we have bounds, um, and I'll just put these four. They all have the same bounds. The next thing we need to do is... Um, give it our constraints. We need to give it some information. Um, you know, we know that one is an inequality constraint, the other one's an equality, but we need to tell it that the first type is gonna be an inequality, I-N-E-Q, and then our function name is going to be constraint one. Okay, now we'll do our constraint two. Okay, and this one's going to be an equality constraint, and that's our second one. And then I'm going to put these into a list. Our constraints are going to be constraint one and constraint two. Okay, so we've got our bounds and our constraints defined as well. Okay, now comes the, uh, our solution is I'll put just SOL is going to be equal to minimize. We're going to use the scipy optimize minimize function. And we'll first of all tell it that we have you know, the uh, name of our function, which was objective. Okay, there it is right there. And then uh, we need to give it our initial guesses. And in this case, I'm going to use method of uh, SQP method there. And uh, just because this is kind of long, I'll go ahead and turn down onto the next line. And then I'll say my bounds are equal to B, B and D, S. And my constraints are equal to C, O, N, S. Okay, so here it is. Now if I enter, hopefully this will um, solve. Okay, and I have some invalid uh, syntax here. Oh, you know what, I needed to do an equal sign right there. And let's try this one again. Okay, so it's solved. And so if I print solution, it's going to give me a bunch of stuff here about, uh, you know, about uh, the function, the Jacobian uh, message that it terminated successfully, number of function evaluations, number of iterations, number of Jacobian evaluations, status success, and then comes my uh, solution. Most times we just want our uh, solution values. Uh, you know, we had our objective function, so we could print um, solution.fun. Okay, and there's our objective function, or we can print something like our uh, solution values. Uh, okay, so there they are. Right there. Let's say I just wanted the first, uh, the first one. I get the first one or the second one. Okay. Okay. So there you go. You got the, the all of the solution values uh, to that. So, so we've uh, optimized um, this uh, problem right here. Uh, we had our objective function. Uh, we had an 
inequality constraint, a general nonlinear inequality constraint uh, right here. We had an equality constraint. We had some bounds on our variables. We gave them initial guesses. And we were able to minimize uh, this objective function right here subject to all of those constraints. So if you want to download uh, this code, I'm going to go ahead and post it um, here on the apmonitor.com website. Just come to CHE 263. And it's down here under the Python side. And if you come down to optimization, um, you'll see this. This is the optimization problem that we're solving here. And a little bit more information. Method one is with the AP Monitor Python package, another video there. And then I'll post this video and this uh, source code there. Just come down here and click the uh, get code in the bottom right. Okay, so that's it uh, for this tutorial on how to use an optimization solver within Python.